Hello people, how are you? Um, I'm so dead right now. Anyway, I thought I would make another video log as I haven't done one in a while. It's been a week or so. I've kind of lost track of what's when the last time I did this was. So, yeah. Sorry, it looks like my wall is kind of creasing. I don't know. I just noticed looking at it in the light, it looks like there's a line in it. I don't know. Anyway, um, not a whole lot going on. I've been working a lot, especially with Christmas just passing. We've been given a lot of hours at work because, yeah, sorry, tickle. Um, so I got 38 hours last week, and this week I've got 36 and a half. And the next week I've got 35, so that's pretty good for me, I guess. Uh, I'm sure they'll drop after the first of the year, so, or in the next week and a half, whenever the next schedule goes out. So, so that's basically that. Christmas was fun. Um, the Saturday before, my boyfriend came home, so I got to spend a few days with him, and then we went to Phoenix Zoo Lights, and... Ran a few errands. We had a lot of errands we had to run since he was home and um, some stuff needed to be paid. So we got some bills paid off or paid on, I should say. Either way. Um, Christmas was great. Um, spent it with, well, we got, me and my boyfriend got up early about 7, about 7.30, I guess. Opened our presents and then um, got, went, got, cleaned up, went to dad's, because my dad had Christmas breakfast, and then, um, spent a couple hours there, came home, and basically crashed, because the night before, I'd worked until 10.30, and I didn't fall asleep till about 3, because when I get home from work, I'm wired, and I cannot settle down right away, it takes me a while, so yeah, that was that. Boyfriend gave me these earrings, um, he got them in Flagstaff, so I'm assuming they're probably Navajo, but I'm not for sure. But um, they are um, blue turquoise earrings. I love them. I've been wearing them almost every day since. Because they're just that much fun. I love them. Um, my mom sent me two boxes of stuff for me and my boyfriend. We got a lot of stuff, considering. I, I'm surprised I got two boxes from her, so... It was really nice to see the stuff she got. Um, and then, of course, boyfriend got me a few things. And I got a couple things for him. Um, yeah. I just got my nails done today. Or redone. Um, last week, well, two weeks ago, I had them done with the regular French tip. But I wanted a color today. So they're this... Well, they're not that pink as they're coming up on camera. They're more of like a mauve pink. They're almost coming up fuchsia, I think, on the camera. So, but, yeah. Maybe if I hold them back here. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. So other than work, and my boyfriend is gone again. He left the day after Christmas to go back to work. Um, so, if I haven't said before, he's a trucker, so he's gone all the time. So, yeah, it's usually me and my aminals. My little aminals. Chloe's in the bed. She's destroyed it. And then my cat is probably in the living room. She likes his game chair. She's always sleeping in his game chair, which I think is very funny. But that's just my cat. Oh, I've got a crick in my neck. Um, yeah, so that's not, you know, most exciting. I don't have the most exciting life. Um, I have, I have not performed lately. Because I've been working. And then the next time I was going to perform, I got scheduled to work that night. So I'm going to see if someone will switch my shift with me. So we'll see. But I would love to. I have kind of miss dancing. So I really want to get really fine. Another shift that I can switch with somebody to do that. Um, Nothing is planned for New Year's. I'm off New Year's Eve, but I work New Year's Day at noon. So... I don't know what I'll do. I have not been invited anywhere, so um, it may just be a lazy night, and I may fall asleep. So I might miss the ball. We'll have to see. I'm not sure yet. 
Um, if you don't know, I've been doing makeup reviews, makeup on makeup products on my main channel, which I will link below. So if you want to check out those reviews, um, you can go there. Some of it has to, um, to do with, well, foundation, of course, and coverage, you know, because I know a lot of people have problems with covering, like, their 5 o'clock shadow, and I am actually a day into not shaving, and right now I'm wearing Bare Minerals, and the, the Bisque Concealer, whatever they call it, does a pretty good job of hiding it, for the most part. Well, not 100%, but... It's a lot better than, you know, I had before. <clears throat> so, usually I have to shave every day, but I kind of lost time this morning, and I didn't have time to shower, and so I kind of did a French bath, <laughs> scrubbed my face, and then threw on my makeup, and ran out the door. So I didn't shave today, so I don't know if you can see this or not, but I can f definitely feel it, but... Um, I'm not going anywhere anywhere else tonight, so, and then tomorrow, I don't know what I'm doing, so we'll have to see. I have no plans tomorrow. I'm off again, and then I work Monday, so, yeah. But, um, I do plan on starting, or at least going to the doctor this coming, not this week, but next week, to go discuss hormones again, so that's kind of excited. I'm, I'm ready to go back on hormones. Um, I had thought about implants, but I'm kind of afraid to go under, you know, just anesthesia in general. I'm not, I, I know it'll probably be, you know, nothing whatsoever, but I've just kind of been on the fence about it. And I just for now, I've decided against it. I'm going to try at least five years on hormones and then see where I am there and then decide whether I need implants or not. Well, I don't think I ever need them, but decide if I want to get them or not. So we'll have to figure that out. But for the time being, I'm going to wait and just get back on hormones and yeah. I don't have the most exciting life. I would like to do more. Um, I do have goals this year um, for this upcoming year for 2014. Um, one of which is, well, getting back on hormones. I don't know how much of a goal that is. And then I am so dying. And my boyfriend said he's going to do his best to help me. But I, he, I, he. My plan is, or goal is to make it to Tribal Fest this year. Um, for those of you who don't know, Tribal Fest is... The, one of the biggest um, North American tribal belly dance festivals in the world, or at least on this continent. Um, I have been wanting to go for a decade and have just never been able to go. It's It can be a very expensive weekend, or week. It really goes from like Monday to Sunday. But, um, because they have so many vendors and belly dance costuming is not cheap. Um, well, the good structured pieces are not cheap. You know, the well, well put together pieces are not cheap. So costuming can run you thousands of dollars if you want to spend that much. If you have the money to spend, I don't think I'll have that much. Um, one of the girls um, who I've been in the works with, I've actually... We're working together to put my costume together. Um, it's been on and off because... And costuming in general takes forever to make because... Um, I paid for it, I think, 2012, August of last year. So it's been over a year since I made or paid for it. But, you know, she goes and looks for pieces to put on the costuming, like buttons and antique jewelry and pieces from around the world. Um, and then also my weight has been fluctuating back and forth, so I've kind of been sending her updated measurements, and then I thought I was getting implants, so she was holding off on making the bra, and then now that that's off again, she's gonna go ahead with the bra. So, yeah. 
it's it's a long process. Normally it doesn't take this long, but because I was toying with the idea of getting implants and then this happened and that happened and then my weight has been fluctuating. She really hasn't made a whole lot, but you know, that's to be expected when you're having a costume, a really, really good costume pieced together from scratch. It just takes a long time and um, it's something I'm going to keep and I'm going to wear for years. So I'm definitely going to get my money's worth and my dollar value. So I'm very excited about that. And um, if you have any interest in the belly dance community, you can definitely get on your Facebook and search. Um, and if you want the name of the co or the woman or the yeah who's making my costume, I can definitely give that to you if you have any interest. Um, you can Google a few dancers like Rachel Bryce, Sharon Kihara, K I H A R A, um, Sherry Wheatley. And that's Sherry with an I, Wheatley, you know, like Wheat, and then L-Y. Um, who else? Ariella. So that's A-R-I-E-L-L-A-H. It's just some of the people that um, my friend is making costuming, or has made a lot of costuming, a lot of, a lot of costuming for Oh, I can't talk tonight. So yeah, they're gorgeous pieces. She makes some beautiful pieces, and there are others out there who make just as good costuming pieces. Um, but I have not um, purchased. This is my first big costuming purchase. I've, you know, purchased a few pieces here and there that were just um, just odds and ends, and nothing really ever matched. This is my first matching set. After nine years of dancing, I'm, I'm finally getting a matching set. So, um, tribal set, I should say. I've had a couple cabaret for starting out, but I've long sold those because I've gained weight since then. I was a lot smaller back then, but not anymore. So, yeah, not much of a life to go on. Um, I'm excited to see what the new year has to come. My mother's coming out in January. Well, the end of January, so like in three weeks, I'm super excited because me and my mom are like tied to the hip. Minus my moving out to Phoenix and she's still back east. Um, I'm so excited about seeing her. I cannot wait. Um, the main reason she had planned on first plan on coming out was to help me when I had gotten my implants. So that she could help me from outpatient surgery and, you know, sit with me. But because I've planned or I've de decided against it we get to spend the whole week together you know and not be completely groggy and you know messed up from anesthesia so I'll get to spend the whole week with her and be lucid <laughs> so yeah um other than that nothing else I hope everyone is doing good your holiday was great if you do celebrate any of the holidays and happy new year and I'm very excited to see what's going to happen and to share with you guys what little life I have. I will be gladly be happy to share with you. Any questions, comment below. Please subscribe. And then I'm going to link my main channel down below. Subscribe to that too. And I wish everybody a happy new year. And be safe. Don't get too wasted. If you do, have a designated driver. Drink at home. Something. No, no crashes, please. That's... The last thing we want is for you to end up in the hospital and or dead. So be safe and take care.